Both of them have underlined study materials and good news. I don't have to explain this because I have explained here. Any questions? I want questions. Is it, like, let's say you have somebody, I think I've asked you before, but is it okay, I guess, if you know you have somebody that, regardless of what you do, they're always being mean or being, is it okay to ignore them? I mean... They still despise you. Yeah. And what's the question? Is it okay to ignore them? I know ignore? ignoring some... Pray. I do pray, but like I try not to engage in any sort of, you know, talk. Yeah, that would be, be a good way to come So that. I feel like when I ignore, I feel like I'm not doing the right thing. Well, it's, but just like it's not really ignoring. The word is, the choice of word is not quite okay. You don't really ignore. What you do is you avoid situations where there will be confrontations. Yes. You just avoid it. You're not really yes. ignoring. When I was listening to the meditation, that came up. Yeah, it came up and I was thinking about it. I'm like, am I really ignoring and not doing the right thing? So I wasn't sure. <laughs> you see, why didn't you tell us at the beginning? But, uh, I could have uh, expounded. Yeah. That's okay. So, you know, I figure, I think the best thing to do in, in, in my situation is if I engage you to any type, it doesn't turn into anything good. So I just, uh, yeah, I guess avoid anything. Let me tell you a story. This is Father Robert Barron. Catholicism. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what does it mean to turn the other cheek? You've probably seen this. Jesus. What does it mean to turn the other cheek? Here. When it's like this, that would be worse. Because it's, a, <clears throat> it's an utmost uh, insult to be slapped with the back of the palm of the hand. The utmost insult is like this. Really? Yeah. To the Jew? You might as well kill the person. That's how they feel. Our normal slap would be this. You see in the tele you see. <laughs> but for the Jews, the utmost insult is this. That's why I turn the other cheek. Now, but that's this one source of it. I said that before. Mm -hmm. Father Robert Byron gave this. Remember uh, Bishop, the black guy from South Africa. What's his name? I, it escapes me. The bishop from South Africa. He was walking, and this is white man on the sidewalk. You know what the white man said? I don't give way to the monkeys. And he was a bishop. I don't give way to the monkeys. Out of my way, he said. And he, he gladly, he, he, he got out of the sidewalk and he said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it means? Well, I give way to the monkeys. You don't give way to the monkeys, I give way to the monkeys. That's what he got out of <laughs> Let's turn in the other cheek, he said. <laughs> That's in the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't that nice way to do it? No. Mother Teresa. It's another, it's another story. Mother Teresa, I forgot the beginning of the story. Um, uh, she saw a child who is very hungry, uh, hungry mm -hmm. and then they went to the bakery. Oh, that's right, that's right. And, and he approached the baker. Can you spare some bread for this, for this young fellow? Because very hungry, not, no food to eat. And I think the baker said some insulting words. To mother, not just to the baby, to the to the child, but also to Mother Teresa. He actually spit on the. He actually spit on the face of the Mother face Teresa. Of Mother yeah. Teresa. Instead of saying, "Yeah," imagine that spitting on the face of Mother Teresa. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that really happened. Oh, and you know what Mother Teresa did? She just she just uh, got something and wiped wiped off her face, and then she said, "What about my request now?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you you've done what you've done. Uh, what about my request? Can you spare me bread? Yeah, he's spitting at me. That's turning the other cheek. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? 
Okay, so these are these are touching stories that I love to, to tell. It's not literally always a slap. No. no. Okay. All right, that's good to know. It's not mine. It's Father Robert Marr. Okay. I got that from Catholicism. Good to know. Yeah. As Beautiful. Turn the other cheek. Yes. Like killing them with kindness. Yes. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I just said about being kind, yeah. Mm. See? Mm. That's, even, that's even one thing you can do. Turn the other cheek. Be kind to the person. Maybe there's some reason. Maybe the person's birthday. Maybe the person's... Oh, you look good today. You look gorgeous. You don't necessarily be true, but... <laughs> a little flattery. Okay. Right. But turn the other cheek. But you notice the class is shorter and we cover more. Because we don't have to write. <laughs> no, I said write. See? <laughs> I feel both these sides and that. I still. Any other question? I love questions. But isn't it, I have a question. Isn't it, uh, I heard that God never turns down any prayers. He, there is no, there are no unheard prayers. Absolutely, all prayers are heard. Yes. It's just a matter of. <laughs> yes. No, I, gave, I gave this. Yeah, I gave this. I gave this before. Didn't I? The the first answer, possible answer is yes. The first, the second answer is wait, and the third answer is I have a better idea. I have a better idea. In other words, God knows better. He does. He does. Now, this is the cor corollary to that is this. What, what, if, what if God says, apparently says, he's saying no. But actually, God's not saying no. God is saying, I have a better idea. I have something better for you to wish upon. Not what you're wishing, not what you're praying for now. It's not always good to pray. Somebody is sick. Oh, I pray that this person be healed. What if that person, if that, if, if that person is about to die already? So you always end that with, by saying, if it be your will. If it be your will, heal this person. If it be your will, do this for this person. You know, I've had a, a several experiences. I, I, you know, I, I bring communion to a lot of that homebound. And um, I've had at the very least four or five that died. And um, I, you know, I, I, I pray for peace with them. You know, God, please bring peace to them. Mm -hmm. And soon after, they, I'm told that they died. And I'm, thank you, Father. Now they're at peace. But then there's a little guilt in me. It's like, I didn't mean them to die. But, I'm like, okay. I thought you were saying, thank you, Lord, uh, one less trip. <laughs> no, less trip. <laughs> no, I miss it. No, I miss it. You know, during, that reminds me of those days when we were uh, visiting the nursing home with my two sons. And the, the patients loved us. There was... Where, where are the boys? Where are the boys when, when they're not present? Or when I'm around, come here, come here, one patient one time. Come here, come here. What? I'm busy, I'm doing, I'm getting ready for the match. Come, 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 come. So I came. You know, when I was close enough, she grabbed my hand and started licking my hand. Licking? Yeah, she started licking my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's her way of, of appreciating me. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And then I then you wash it. But you know, that's that's uh, how people are. You have to co you have to conform to the norms of the culture. Uh, if you go to Africa, you'll be surprised what kind of mass they do there. Well what culture was that that led you? Huh? <laughs> Who led you? What culture was that? I don't know. Oh okay. <laughs> It's just one of the patients there. 
Breast Breast